Prepare to die, friends. Hello, welcome to Dark Souls. I've already taken the liberties of creating my character. Name dehumanized, obviously. Sex male, class bandit. Gift master key. Physique large. And I've kind of taken some fairly wild liberties with the character creation, and I have created a red-headed smurf, because why the hell not? I think it is okay to start the game with this character. We may regret this decision. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity, heat, then cold, life, then death, and of course, light, then dark. Then from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. of Isaac and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the lord of sunlight and his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, Soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen. It's such a long intro sequence, but I do love it. I don't want to skip it, just in case any of you haven't seen it.
but what is this? Dungeon cell key. So we let ourselves out. I'm going to skip through the tutorial. I've played this before. Now, I should explain, just while we're here, the bonfire system. Bonfires are essentially your checkpoints. Um, at bonfires, you can revive the human, provided you have a humanity going spare. And when you rest at a bonfire, you regain all your well, all your hit points, all your Estus flasks, which are your healing items, and all of your spells. Oh my! What is this? Well, we certainly can't fight it yet. But we could. It's I've seen it done before. I'm not wasting 20 minutes on it. We gain our spider shield. Should probably equip straight away. Oh, your arrows do nothing to me. What a shame. And we get our battle axe. I'd say it's by far the best starting weapon in the game. Just for base damage, it's fairly solid. And if you get the right attack off, you can you can kill a lot of the enemies in the initial part of the game quite easily. Hello, Boulder. He looks familiar. Yes, of course I will. Thank you, sir. That's a very long saying to have had in your family for a long time. But, but what's that noise? He killed himself. Oh no. Oh my. So we use the key that Oscar gave us, and it will allow us to reach our new area. And of course, now that we have weaponry, we'll be able to take on our first boss, once we stop taking stupid damage from the archer. It's always nice to get the double hit. And mistime the roll afterwards. One more hit. Thank you. We get the big pilgrim's key. And immediately use it. We also get a humanity.
Now, it's no coincidence that you get your first humanity there, as you're probably expected to use it straight away. And indeed I will, just to show you what happens. The humanity, when you use it, gives you a full heal, and you'll notice the little counter in the top left, which now reads 1, where it used to read 0. I'll explain in a moment. It must be the land of the lords. It has lord in it. So in Lordran, you can level up and kindle at bonfires. Of course, you can't kindle this first one because it's already at the maximum kindling for the current time in the game. We will rest at the bonfire, and we will we may as well reverse hollowing. You'll see the one will go back to a zero. However, it's now glowing white. That means I am in human form. And as you can see, I look fairly good for it. I look healthy, one could say. I'd like to level up dexterity a couple of points. We'll need it for the weapons I'll be going for. And we'll talk to the crestfallen warrior. Oh, I do apologise, I genuinely don't know what happened there. I think something popped in front of Dark Souls. <laughs> Either way, let's just uh, walk away from him before he gets angry for the fact we just slashed him with our axe. No, um, essentially all he really tells you, he gives you a couple of hints as to where to go in the game. Um, he tells you to go up above, which is, well, where we're currently going now. You need to be careful for firebombs. I was blocking. Now, I don't know if it's OBS that's causing the slowdown here. I hope it's not coming through too badly. I'm sick of you. Goodbye. Fall to your death, good sir. We'll come over here for the soul of lost undead.
anytime I come across a rat, I'm reminded of Rurikan. For whenever he sees a rat, he gives it the old, You dirty rat, you kill my brother. I've not actually watched any of his Dark Souls 2 stuff, however, there are a couple of rat-themed bosses. I can only imagine. And I'm out of stamina. And you're dead. We'll go through this fog gate. Fog gates should tell you that something is about to happen. Generally, they come before bosses. It's a dragon. Wow. We don't have to fight that. You, you technically don't have to fight that at all. We will fight it at some point. Take this guy out. And we'll just move on. There's a bonfire in there, but we're not really in the position where we need it right now, so. The firebomb guys up above are being very, very aggressive. I don't know if that's possibly an issue with the 60 frames per second mod in DS fix. We gain five black firebombs. They could prove useful later on. I may show you a small skip of sorts for one of the bosses. Take this guy out up here. And we'll take out these three down here. One item to collect before we go down there. You can only get in here if you have the master key or there's the resident key, which you can buy, but really, who's got the souls to waste on that? We gain three gold pine resin. I will immediately use one of these to show you what it does, and also to kill this rather large fellow over here. I say to kill. That's the hope anyway. However, he's he's fairly aggressive. And when I say fairly, hell, I mean unfairly. We'll grab a couple of healing potions. He did not drop his weapon, which is a shame. It would have been nice to have it. He drops either the Black Knight Sword or the Black Knight Shield, either of which I would have been quite happy with. We'll come behind him, though. We'll take his Blue Tearstone Ring, which, since we have no other rings right now, we may as well equip. What that will do is, when our HP drops below 20%, which won't be often to be fair, um, our defense will be boosted by, I believe it's 50%, which doesn't make a massive difference, all in all, but 
you know, every little helps, especially when you're about to die. I did show you a little skip there with the flaming barrel. You're supposed to just run away from that, but you can jump over it if you use the right angle. We will kill Crystal Lizard. So we have two Titanite chunks so far, which is... Well, it's a fairly decent outlay for the beginning of the game. Now that's a fog gate, but it didn't disappear. What can that mean? Well, first things first, we have to kill these two. Preferably without taking damage. Slide back down the ladder. Heal up. Prepare our gold pine resin. Not that that should be a hint as to what's coming next. Oh, hello there. The Taurus Demon. Now we'd sure like to get up this ladder before he can swing at us. Not a perfect hit, but it'll do. We'd like to stagger him. We're not going to be able to yet. Oh my. Prepare your anus. He's, um giving us a hard time here. I'm pressing the wrong button, which doesn't help. I'm going to take a small run away from him for now. Pop of humanity. Well, we have a second. This is far and away not the best fight I've had against him, but... Well, that's him done. Far from ideal circumstances. However, we have obtained a rare drop from him. Um, I believe... It will be the Demon Great Axe, yes. The Demon Great Axe, I will show you. It's it's not a bad weapon, certainly. However, with the strength requirement of 46 and weight of 22, there's no way in hell we'll be using it just yet. The Demon's Great Axe, carved from the bones of fellow demons, wielded by the lesser Taurus Demons. This axe is imbued with no special power, but can merely beat foes to a pulp. Providing you have the strength to wield it. We do not. Our strength is 14 at the moment. The absolute minimum strength you need to wield that weapon is 30. And even at that you need to wield it two-handed. So no shield, should you so desire to do that. Now, given that this is going to be a single-player playthrough, we don't have much need for Solaire. And I'm not going to lie, I like his armor set. So, as much as this may sadden people, there will be no sun praising going on today. I'm getting a bit of input lag here, which is not good.
We get a thousand souls for defeating Solaire. We get two humanities. And we get all of his equipment. The Sunlight Straight Sword, the Sunlight Shield, the Sunlight Talisman. And... Iron Helm, Iron Bracelet, Iron Leggings, and Armor of the Sun. And he gives you the White Sign Soapstone if you talk to him anyway. However, we don't have time for that. I will immediately equip his equipment, because why not? It does take us into heavy roll range, actually, so... There we are, medium roll range. And don't we just look spiffing? Cosplaying as Solaire. Really, if we were cosplaying as Solaire, we'd need to use his weapon and shield, but... You know, I like mine at the moment. You may wonder why I've run in and out there. It's because I don't like fire. Fire tends to hurt. That is, of course, the dragon we saw earlier. We'll climb down. Now, if I look out here, you may recognize this area. We've already been here. I'll light the bonfire. I'll spend a few souls to level up. And I will leave it there for episode one. In episode two, we, will, we may well find ourselves fighting some gargoyles. Till next time, this has been Dark Souls. Solaire says goodbye. <laughs>